This week's horrific attack has drawn some pretty extreme reactions from all sides, and the mainstream media is no exception. Two of the more controversial moments came from the New York Daily News and the Boston Globe, which both took the opportunity to blame the NRA rather than radical Islam. And then the New York Times editorial board went so far as suggesting a Republican bigotry is to blame for the attack. But one of the most dramatic claims this week came from Joy Behar on The View. Listen. The thing about Trump, though, is that uh, he's the recruiter in chief. He is, For ISIS. He is basically working with ISIS yes. to kill us. They are working together. Yes. Just remember what I'm saying. What? Wow. Joining me now is Howard Kurtz, the host of Media Buzz here on Fox. What did you make of that? You know, it makes me really angry when pundits and politicians seize on a horrifying tragedy like what happened in Orlando to score cheap political points, to point fingers, Trump's the recruiter in chief, President Obama's fault. And it seems almost stuck on hyperspeed uh, now in the new politics of terror. So that this NRA, thanks NRA cover uh, in the New York Daily News, which has become like a propaganda sheet, even if you vehemently disagree with the NRA's policies on background checks or no fly list. That's ugly stuff. And that New York Times editorial, if I could just read a line or two, talking about the targeting of the gay nightclub in Orlando, hate crimes occur when bigotry is allowed to fester, uh, driven too often by Republican politicians uh, who see bigotry as something to exploit. That conflates two things, disagreements about gay rights legislation or policies and the senseless slaughter so what, of 49 why Americans. What is happening, Howie? I mean, what is changing? Why, why is the, the, this rhetoric out there? I mean, how different is this? from what we have seen in the past because it seems like it's quickly changing. It's gone on for a long time. Back during the Oklahoma City bombing, for example, President Bill Clinton uh, pointed a finger at Rush Limbaugh, said he'd helped create a, uh, a climate of intolerance that led to somebody like Timothy McVeigh. It just seems now like we don't even wait until all the people have been taken to the hospitals. And let me to be fair and balanced and point to a couple examples on the right. I was disappointed when John McCain came out and said that he holds Barack Obama personally responsible for the attack. And But to his credit, to the senator's credit, he came out, he said, I misspoke. I was talking about the president's national security policies, which, of course, are fair game. And then take a look at this um, video from Pat Robertson on the 700 Club. This is a former presidential candidate talking about how the left loves both gays and Islam. Here's what Pat Robertson had to say. The left 